this box right here is worth over $2,000. That's a tiny little box. This one probably also worth over $2,000. Pokemon items galore. And this, Sky Guy, you're recording this. Yes. You, Al Pal, and Matt, the Caterpie crew. There's six packs in this box. It's 2020 Optic. You can get Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, Jalen Hurts, Ooh. and more. Whoever pulls the most valuable card gets to keep the whole box. Ooh. And we can sell it great at whatever we want to do to maximize as a nice little bonus. This is going to be opened throughout this video as we unbox this five thousand dollars worth of pokemon items and you're gonna want to stick around because there's some amazing stuff come pick your packs get the best ones you each get two i'll just go with two right here on the you're end did you hear what i said matt no oh, you did it no, okay here's, here's what's happening you each are opening two packs as no, as the crew and whoever gets the best card keeps all of the content <laughs> only two left <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear it whoever gets the best card yeah. keeps all the contents of the box and I would imagine you'll probably sell them unless you really want to keep it. You can do whatever you want to do. We can grade. We can, uh, this is a $120 box right now, by the way. Is it really? Yeah. Is but this the last when, one when, we have? when Thane and I opened these, we opened like five of them. We got everything. We got amazing cards and actually profited by opening instead of keeping it sealed. This is the only product that's not that that's ever consistently happened for me. So, We're going to see if uh, it, the luck can continue. We got a Joe Burrow hollow. A Justin Herbert hollow. Like hollow. There's only yeah. one per box. That's... And we got the best two. We got all, all right. sorts of like purple all rookies right. and stuff. There's a lot of good rookies in here. Well, so. Well, me. I love football cards. Well, let, let's start it off with Matt. Open it, up, up, open it up one pack. Oh, yeah, let's start it out. Well, usually the back card is a good one, so you might want to like be very try careful. to keep it concealed or just not be surprised. Whatever you want to do. Dun, dun, dun. So I, so I like flip it over. Flip yes. Yeah. My wife always makes fun of me for how serious I am about opening packs. <laughs> All right, who's? I don't know who that is. It's okay. Usually it's gonna be the Odell? back two cards that matter. Okay. The top ones won't matter. I don't know who that is. Oh. oh, there's your hollow. So it's a rookie. It's a rookie hollow. Makai. But it is not a quarterback. You get one of those per box. So, okay. Alpha, you'll be next. We'll call on you when it's time. Um, this is a submission that I sent off myself. Vintage collection that I bought. Um, the cards looked really good. Cards. I, it took a while for these to get back. Yeah, I've got three boxes full. How many cards? Like 30, 40? Probably like 40, yeah. This looks, this looks like a good stack. We're going to go rapid fire through these things. A lot of them are Expedition, uh, Vintage Wizards of the Coast. I'm and excited. they looked good. I'm excited to see My the results. My knee is shaking. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, that's an cool. eight. That's not bad on an EX Chansey right there from Ruby and Sapphire. Okay. PSA eight. And we'll stack them based on their grade. Yeah, it's tough to get good grades on hollows, especially hollows that are all the way around the edges of the cards on vintage. Mm -hmm. That's a very tough card to grade. Ooh, baby, nine. Ooh, first edition. First edition. Holy cow. From uh, Neo Destiny. That's fantastic. Well, Tens are almost impossible that. on vintage hollows, by the way. They're what's, very What's the hard average to get. for hollow? You've talked about this before. It's like a even, four even or pack, five. Yeah, probably, but pack fresh, like, you're getting a lot of eights and nines if mm -hmm. you just open them. So these were open in 2002, 2003. Oh, oh dang. Oh, that is a sick. A nine on the Ruby and Sapphire Mewtwo EX. That's huge. That's got to be a pretty significantly valuable card. You can see, like, there's whiting on the bottom corner here. It might be hard to see. Oh, yeah, I got but it. But the thing they care most about is definitely the front of the card when grading Pokemon. That's what I've learned. If there's no scratches and the front looks good... They're going to give you a favorable grade. In that case, I would think that's favorable. There's a nine, Harry. Hariyama. Hariyama from uh, Ruby and Sapphire. So we're getting a nice Ruby and Sapphire uh, stack here. Dragonite. Nine. Expedition Dragonite. Uh, I had the hollow version of that, and I got a 10 on it. Well, is I that upstairs? I, no, I sold that. Aww. So I sold that at the boom, but I got over $3,000. for it. I think I got $3,500. <laughs> I think that was probably that would probably that stand the test of time as a good sale. Smart. Ooh, nice. The regional champs. Venusaur got a nine. That's cool. Yep, so it's the promo. That's a tough grade, too, so we'll a take that. A lot of that. nines. Give us a ten. A nine victory cup. So staff. Battle Road. No, not staff, but first place. So it's a tournament victory cup. Yeah, black and white. That's that's solid. Ooh, baby, we got a ten. Oh, let's go. Pokemon Expedition Mew got a ten. So non hollows is definitely going to be easier to get really strong grades, but that's... Doesn't happen very often. Nine on Came Rupt from Ruby Sapphire. I'm liking these stacks right now. A 10 on a reverse hollow. That is incredibly, Expedition. that's probably got, I would guess that has single digits. Pop count. Population count. Yeah. So that is a 
Unbelievable. Japanese card. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh, ten a 10 on Typhlosion, Typhlosion Hollow. Dark That's Typhlosion. Cool. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. This is going well. A nine on Manectric. And again, I had a suspicion that these would get high grades because I graded the best of the best cards and three out of the eight got tens. Five out of the eight got nines and those were all hollows. I did those like that Dragonite was one of them. Mm -hmm. I got a Blastoise Expedition that got a 10. Starmie first edition with a nine. Wow. A Neo Revelation. Oh my gosh. So I graded the hollow, it got a 10. I graded the non-hollow, it got a 10 for Blastoise. Sweet. Now what would you keep, both? The hollow? I, the I sold the hollow as well at the boom. Oh. Oh, okay, so that was I a while back. I got 2000 for that one. <laughs> so, okay. Again, like I I don't regret that. Gosh, Whoa. another one. Typhlosion 10 Expedition. So, looking back, I do wish I still had those Expedition cards because I'm starting to complete the sets. I'm getting a lot of 10s from Expedition right now. Are you so, targeting 10s for your collection or happy with a 9? If I come across them for a really good deal, I'll take them. But mm -hmm. yeah, happy with a 9. Um, I gotta figure out a way to display them, but we're gonna do the next pack. Alex, you're up. Come on. Come on over to the hot seat. Joe Burrow's the number one guy we're hoping for. I'd say Justin Her Herbert, probably number two. Jalen Hurts might be number three right now. But you know, you got two in there. Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Haskins. What do you got a hollow? Mike Williams. Oh, Chase. It's not bad. Chase, Chase Claypool. Claypool. Hollow oh, rookie. Right. You are absolutely in the lead. Woo. So it's guaranteed a hollow, but not a rookie. Yeah? Let's see what it says. Three blaster exclusive rookies or rated rookies. Pink, that's going to be regular ones. Six rookies total. I think it said, yeah, there you go. One hollow parallel per box on average. We beat the average. <laughs> Two hollows, and they're both rookies. Well, all right. Uh, look that one up, Al Pal. we got to see what the card oh, is so to So there's beat. no more hollows then? <laughs> Statistically? <clears throat> Probably not, but, I mean, first two packs. That's, that's a solid card. He's one of the best wide receivers from the class. We're going to get into, a little bit into this one, starting with whatever is in this first bubble wrap. And look at this! <gasps> Caterpie! He said a Caterpie. We don't have this. That's really cool. For the Caterpie a... crew. Tommy. Tommy? He's, he, uh, he sells, he sells a lot, a of, lot of these. This is a member of the Discord. KG, yes. thank you. KG, we made a trade, actually. I traded him a bunch of staff exclusive stuff. And he traded me Vintage Glory. And I think you guys are going to like this one here. I don't remember it's a what PSA it was. graded card. It's a first edition Shadowless. Oh. And it's a Blastoise. Holy cow. <laughs> first edition Shadowless. PSA Blastoise. 4. Yeah, PSA 4. He said it's a very tough 4 because of a couple scratches. But look, the back is super clean. Wow. That is an incredibly rare card. A pack of these cards is like, what, $10,000? <laughs> Something. And this is the second best card you can get out of it. So at a PSA 4, still valued around $1,000 or eight, less? 800 realistically. Okay. Uh, so that's a, that's a big one. <laughs> that's nuts. Uh, let's do the first little bit of this next box of graded Pokemon. And then, Sky Guy, you're going to get to your pack. Let's go. So we're going to do the first five out of here. First five. Uh -oh. Venusaur 8. Not great. Not great on a non-hollow. Ooh, baby, okay. Kingler, Expedition, Hollow 9. That's a good one. Ooh, a 10! <gasps> Let's go, Mewtwo, Expedition. Is that two 10 Mewtwo's? No, that's that's the first Mewtwo. Wait, oh, we also had the Mew. Oh, okay. That's what you're thinking of. Yeah. Yep. The other Mewtwo is a 9. Come on. Cloister, Hollow on a 9. Very strong. And... Nice. Legendary oh Collection Drowsy gosh. at an it's 8. It's beautiful. Those That's are strong. the prettiest cards. That's another set that I want every uh, Fireworks Reverse Hollow of. I do yeah, love those is, cards. Uh, That's going to be a tough set. All right, what's the number to beat right now, Raw? It's like a 4 or $5 card. 4 or $5. That's crazy. Oh. Uh, the card market loves quarterbacks, so we need a quarterback. Sky Guy, let's see what you get. Stakes are pretty low right now, so the best <laughs> card being a 4 yeah, or $5, $5 card. $5. But we still could pull something crazy, especially if it grades well. All right. You, oh. got, you got a pink or something. It's a blaster exclusive. JJ pink. Watt. Patrick Mahomes. Nice. Super Bowl. Keyshawn Vaughn. Okay. Rookie. So what? So, what does uh, that pink, mean? Pink parallel. Not okay. not as parallel. good as the uh, hollow. And uh, AJ Espenza. For okay. The Bills. So your two rookies. Nothing. I would say Al Pell still has the lead. Pass it back over. Let's do ten more from this box, and then Matt will be next. So Pokemon cards in the future, you still gonna go PSA, you gonna do CGC? Yeah, actually they just sent a batch out to CGC for a couple reasons. Super quick return times. The card cost is like 16 something if you send out a decent amount. 
and that's cheaper with quicker returns and the the resale market on CGC for Pokemon is really good. So I'm, I'm recommending that now, though I don't regret sending these ones off because they're really high end and they're getting strong grades. An eight on the Metapod Legendary so Collection, cool. very nice. Seven oh. on Graveler. Those are really tough grades because almost every inch of the card can be scratched. A six. Six. That's, that's just gonna be more normal. Like six is, would normally be considered solid on these. A nine, Ruby and Sapphire, that set's looking nice. Hmm. Lots of nines on it. Ruby and Sapphire, Agron, Hollow. Was that the first set that wasn't Wizards of the Coast? That may be. It's, I mean, 2003, it's, it's so darn close. the time frame adds up. Unknown Hollow. Neo Discovery, nine. Very nice. Come on. Ooh, nice. Shadowless Pikachu at an eight. Okay. So it's a yellow cheeks. Shadowless on the side. No first edition stamp. That is the second print of Pokemon base set. For those that don't know, base set has first edition, which is also Shadowless. And second print is Shadowless. Third print is Unlimited. Uh, with a shadow, no first edition stamp. Next up, we've got a 10. Raichu, Raichu first, edition. first edition. Very nice. Not hollow. A 9 and a reverse haunter from Expedition. Oh my gosh, a oh, 10. Neo Revelation. Entei. Nice. I love that card. Had it as a kid. And now I've got it as a 10. Nice one. Oh! Okay. That's probably the biggest card we've gotten so far. So, it's shocking That's that kinda... Gengar is that popular of a card you sold the gengar it was when i kind of first started it was it was this it was in a legendary collection and it was a nine i think i got over two thousand for that one i thought it was like three thousand <laughs> it might have been it was a lot uh and again that was from this collection so this one wow. in, a, in a 10 reverse hollow is not as desirable as uh, regular hollow but that's gonna be but being expedition is has something else going for it too oh yeah that's early early desirable the uh the e the e series or e reader pokemon sets very desirable very l low print cards so all of them are good matt your, your next pack matt. all right you can do it did you learn how no <laughs> it's okay they get damaged there whoever won them so it's uh... <laughs> <laughs> i mean Wait, i want how, the best for you guys how but... much are just the loose packs Worth you treating it like it's, I don't know. Okay. Condition is everything on this kind of stuff, though. So, all right, come on, baby. What is this? Whoa. Flip it around. What's up? Yep, you got a jersey piece, Patrick Queen. That might be the Pals. I don't know. Oh. And then good old Clyde. Clyde, I was there. Oh, Clyde, He's solid running back. Hey, Kyle. I don't know who that Kyle is. Kyle Duggar. <laughs> okay, Alpal, you're gonna have to look up. I think his That's... pink and his jersey. Is that a numbered? Or no rookie phenoms, Patrick Queen. Probably not gonna be much because it's Patrick Queen, but yeah, who's that? <laughs> to, to get a jersey piece is a good pull out of a pack in general. All right, let's do the next. It's about two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next thing from the two thousand dollar tiny box. You ready for it? Little box. So, so this is from our trade. Okay, I see Pokemon. Yep, it's gonna be a whole stack. Whoa, Whoa. with the thank you sticker. You ready? For, you ready to see these packs? There's packs. There's a lot of packs. There's a lot of packs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ones that I do not have. Okay. But I do now. We talking like old, new? We're talking old, baby. What's that pack right out there? <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> Jungle. <laughs> Holy cow, the Flareon. Wait, is that a long stem? It is. Mm-hmm. Well, well, yes, it is. Well, you just revealed the next one, too. No, I didn't. Okay. You can't see it. Oh, wow. Good for you. Kingdra <laughs> Expedition. PSA zero. Clean as ever. That's near mint. Actually, that's from Aquapolis. Crobat. Pillow swine. Nido King. And these are, these, these cool are all cards. these are all near mint, man. Meganium. I love that. That's from Expedition. Polyrath from Expedition. And Vile Plume. All E series, E reader hollows. That's sweet. And those might get graded because they're all minty fresh. Alright. And Al the, should we show these? I think we need Al Pal. Okay. Al Pal. Next Bye pack. Back. Thank you. This one's like $4. $4. $4. Oof. So you're still in the lead, Alex? Chase would have to look up. Outside of the Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Okay. That's a wild card. Best rookie in this is... Joey B. Joey B. And then but, Justin Herbert's right there then, with him. And then Tua. As a, no, Jalen Hurts will probably be number three now. Okay. Tua had a, a burst, but... Slow down a bit. Don't film me. And after this, we're going to open the Pokemon packs. 
What? I'm just kidding. I, I what, let's rip them. I actually want to collect every vintage Pokemon pack. Do you want to get sealed. them graded? You don't have Maybe. any graded if, packs. Yeah. That'd be oh, yeah, cool to do. QB. Yeah. Josh Allen, look at that. Holy crap, it's uh, Josh Allen. Michael Thomas. Colby Parkinson. Uh, and CJ Henderson. Okay. So now let's look at the packs. All right, we got Jungle. That's beautiful. We got oh. Rocket. Uh, these are so nostalgic for or Fossil, rather. So nostalgic. There's oh. Team Rocket. Oh, my Lord. There's another oh, Team Rocket. Oh, yes. yes. This is best base set two right there. I haven't seen any of those packs, actually. And another base set two. Wow. So funny, because I remember base set two came out as a kid. I was like, those aren't as good as the other ones. <laughs> like, the ones with Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur on the art. Um, I was right. <laughs> so I do have, in the Pokemon Pursuit on the main channel, I do have all the variants for long stems yeah. added, in case you want to collect them like, like that. Because we actually have a, a Flareon jungle pack, but it's first, first edition, edition, but in short stem. Yeah. So I don't know what makes it a long stem, if you know. Let me know in the comments. You don't you don't know? What's this? Well, I I know that, but like was oh, it which a print? Was it uh just hey, you gotcha. get a long pack. <laughs> or you get a long PSA pack. nine Electabuzz. Beautiful. Another, Another one. one. <laughs> oh man, a Venusaur reverse ten. Oh baby. Good night. Okay, next pack. Is this the last pack? This is my this this is the last pack. Alright, we're actually gonna save that for last. This is a crossed out of eight. So. Oh, do we have something else? Yeah, we got we got one more box of PSA. Let's put that in the sleeve. Okay. The, the, this one. Yeah, I, I don't think this can fit. Ready? Rapid fire. Rapid fire. Oh, Boom. baby! Ten. Let's go. Charizard V Max. That's new. That's modern. Uh, nine on Delcati Hollow. Camera. That's the second one of that one. I had that as a kid. The Whale Lord in the nine. Ooh, Sweet. ouch! Eight. Eight. <laughs> yeah, a little better. Nine. Appears to be impossible to get a 10 in Ruby and Sapphire. The Swampert 9. That's, a cool that's amazing card. to get that many vintage 9s. Uh, Blaziken. Not, uh, I have that's, that card. Yep. Uh, okay, Weezing 9. Expedition. Give us a 10. 9 in a Magic Card oh. Reverse. 9 in a Tauros Reverse. Give us a 10. 9 Aerodactyl. Was... 9 Tyranitar. 10. There Hero Reverse. Hollow. Very, very tough to get 10s on that. An eight. That's Ugh. way more common. That's usually your top end grade on this type of card. Must just have a print line or scratch or something. A nine. That is a reverse. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> and... Woo! Raichu ten. Reverse. Nice. And All right. Japanese. I believe this is a Mew promo. A five. Five? These are impossible. What the heck? If you get high grade in this card... I mean, it looks perfect on the back. Like, I would look at that back and be like, yeah, that could be a 10. Wow. So it must have some scratches. These were part of a, uh, like, comic or magazine, and they came in a little pack. Oh, I Remember see. These? I see. Uh, there's, like, an indent right it's here. It's an indent. Oh, I don't know. That's on the case. Is it? Yep. Okay. Well, never mind. I have no idea. It's probably scratch, scratched <clears throat> badly somewhere. But, yeah, those were, like, impossible to grade. All right. This is the stack. These are all the nines, tens, more tens than eights, and then one seven, one six, one five, and there's the beautiful, the most valuable card of them all, the four, <laughs> Blastoise. And curious to see what these ones will get. We'll probably send those off to CGC. Sky guy, let's pull something good in the last pack. Okay. All right, Julio Jones. Oh, I know. Oh, whoops. Guy. Stephon Gilmore. <laughs> and. Adam, <laughs> Adam Thielen. Thielen. Good guy. receiver, but that is not what you wanted to see for your third card. What the heck is that? an insert and zach moss for the bills okay well the stakes were low should have sold the box sealed bye